Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sroxan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Jessica Jones Season 1, Episode 2, called AKA Crush Syndrome. And you hear my dog, I'm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Jessica talks to the police at the station and gets questioned. And then they release her, and so she goes to Luke Cage's bar, and they see police showing pics to Cage, and then she goes to talk to Cage, and he tells her to leave. <laughs> then Jess, Jessica tells to um, Hope in prison, then Hope blames her for Kilgrave, saying, like, why did you kill him? Why did you do something? And then we cut to Hogarth and Jess talk, and tells Hogarth to take the case. And she will owe her a favor. And so she wants to uh, do something. So she considers it. Then Hogarth's wife knows about the affair with the assistant Pam. And then we have Trish talks to Jessica. Then Jessica tells her to steer clear of her. Uh, to Trish. And so Trish leaves. Then Cage confronts uh, a woman. Um, that he was, like, hooking up with, having a song party with, and so she runs home, saying that basically Jessica told him that she, that her husband hired her to investigate them, her. So anyway, then Jessica goes through evidence, and then she confronts neighbors, because they're being so stupid <laughs> and arguing, and it's, like, right above her. Then with a flashback, and then she goes to that location, and then she gets info on uh, slash from hospital, and then she masquerades as a nurse, and basically uh, then we can see someone in her apartment and some hurt guy, and then uh, Trish hired him to fix the door, and then she fusses out Trish. It's like you need to let me know about these things, otherwise I could have really hurt somebody. And uh, then we have a creepy neighbor talk to her, who's Ruben. Then we have Jessica on the subway, and they have flashback, and that um, triggered her PTSD, and she actually smacks the subway window and cracks it. And then she visits the old driver of the ambulance, and the mother says that he gave away both of his kidneys. So he's like on a dial, um, he's on a special machine to help him out. And so the donor gave them the machine. So the guy, um, and so Jessica wants to talk to the guy alone, and he writes, "Take me out, please." And she says no, and then the woman tells her to leave. And then the merry woman that was she was having fun with Cage with confronts Jessica, and basically told. The husband what happened, and now the rugby team, he's on a rugby team, go up to Cage's bar, then Jessica j goes to help, and then they beat up all the peoples, and so they leave, then Cage tells Jessica to leave, and then she gets a call about the machine in the morning, and gets the name of the doctor, so she goes to the doctor's class, which is odd because, you know, he was like a brilliant uh, surgeon, and now he's teaching class. So then he runs for it, then Jessica goes to get him, and then he's got a weakness, and then calls, um, then we find out that Kilgrave has a weakness, and that's because he was literally watching the guy do the operation. <laughs> and it turns out uh, some type of drug can knock out his powers uh, underneath the operation, so that's his weakness, so she calls Hogarth, and she puts Hog um, so um, Hogarth starts to be on Hope's case. Then Hope looks up and tells Hogarth about Jessica, because Jessica talked to her and tried to um, tell her like about stuff she went through, and so now Hogarth knows all that. Then Trish sent new glass pane for the door, and then calls Trish to thank her. And then uh, Trisha knows is bleeding, and she's learning self-defense, and she's going like really, really, really hard at it. Then uh, Kilgrave goes to an apartment, or basically like a condo or some type of like high-end place, and tells the people like, "You're gonna invite me in. You're gonna make me dinner." And tells the kids to get in the closet, and one girl says, "I have to pee," and she and he says, "Go in there." 
And then Cage confronts Jessica, and he has unbreakable skin, and that's then the episode. Uh, this was another A plus episode. I really, really, really liked it. I like the um, dynamics between everyone and how everyone's characters are being set up. So I think it's really cool. And it was just overall a kick-ass episode. I really enjoyed it. I mean, tell me what you, so that's what I'm do for this video. I'm kind of all over the place today. I'm trying to get it together. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Just tell me what you think. And then if you have any other suggestions, suggestions for any other shows or music or TV, let me know, and I'll check it out, and I want y'all have a super awesome day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.